Hey there. So a colleague, Diego at Lectrify, was playing with um, proof of concept of using a thumbstick controller to turn an OLED into a Etch-a-Sketch. And I have never played with these. I mean, I had these in kits that I bought, you know, 10 years ago kind of thing, the little electronics kits. But I, I've never been a gamer, never played with, with any kind of game console, so I've never used them. So I just kind of never paid attention to them. Um, but when I saw him do that, it made me wonder about using one device for multiple inputs. Um, instead of like having four devices for four inputs, I can use one device for four, actually five um, inputs. And I'll tell you how we get that here by the pins. So you need a connection to ground. Let's go up here. You need a connection to ground. You need a connection to power, obviously, right? And then there are three other input pins. There is the, oh, this is the X pin, X direction pin, the Y direction pin, and actually a, a, a push button, a switch pin, because this can act as a push button. Now, what is inside of this, and I forgot to get that out, is actually two um, variable resistors called potentiometers, which are dials. It's like zero resistance and turn it the other way, it's maximum resistance. So there are two of those inside of here, one for the X direction, one for the Y direction. So when you sit at zero, you should have like you know, medium resistance. And then when you trigger all the way to the left, you should, or to the left or right, I forget which way, um, you should have uh, you know, zero resistance and max resistance zero resistance, max resistance kind of thing. I don't know if you know which way it is. Um, so that's how this should work. So I'm thinking four inputs as in all the way over to this side's one input, all the way to this side is one input, one input down to there, one input up to there. And I'm not gonna bother with the fifth uh, uh, push button yet. That's something for later on. Um, so I'm gonna use one device two pins, the X and the Y, to get four inputs. Um, now here's what you need to know, is what what is this getting? Well, it's sending voltage is what it's sending. Um, that's why, you know, max resistance, zero resistance kind of thing. Um, but what it comes into is numbers from zero to 1023, 1024 options. Um, it sends numbers from 0 to 1023 into the computer, into the controller. Um, so, so you kind of need to know those numbers to know what to do with them. Like Diego had to convert those numbers in order to be a number, like an XY coordinate on an OLED, because an OLED, the OLED is uh, 64 by 128 pixels. So obviously there is no pixel 1023, right? So we had to do some, you know, division, which is you know not hard math um, to get that happen. So you need to know what's, what should happen. So here we go. I have my micro bit. I have a kitten bot expansion board because I need to get at more than three pins. There was also the thought that I needed to get five volts because this at the voltage thing says five volts. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, that's why I use this board because it's a five volt. It has some five volt pins. I also love boards that have on off switches. It's hooked up to a plug with a five volt adapter. Um, these pins are for something that's coming up. Um, so here's what I did. Again, so you plug into the ground, the voltage, the X, the Y. I took them into ground and voltage and then pin two and pin three. And then just so we can see what's happening with the numbers, um, I plug a LCD in. It's an I squared C device, so I use pins 19 and 20. 
um, you know, ground voltage, and then pin 19 is the SCL. Back here it says SCL and SDA. Um, so pin 19 is SCL and pin 20 is SDA. So as you're noticing, it's sitting in the middle. Well, technically the middle should be what, 511, 512? But that's not what's going to happen. Um, you know, little nuances in how, how the thing is made and that. But it's pretty close to middle, which is nice. Oh, I've got it plugged into 3 volts. That's important for you. So let's see if I go to the, if I'm holding it so I'm reading the letters. If I go to the right, X position goes to 1023. If I toggle to the left, X position, position goes to zero. Awesome. If I toggle up, whoop, that is zero. Now if I toggle down, it's 1023. Um, so you got to figure out how you want to orient this on your um, board or whatever you're building. You know, it doesn't really matter. Or can you just play with it in the code that, hey, this is all the way, this is the highest number, this is the highest number, that's a zero. That's a zero. And then in the code, you just switch on which one's X and which one's Y. Because um, there's no way to position this thing um, so that highest X is, see, that's going Y. So if I do this, now nope, we're going zero. If I do it this way, right? Um, I really wish that I could go down you know, to the right is X maximum and up is Y maximum. But that's not going to happen with this, is it? That's X zero. That's Y max. Um, so you have to play with that in your code um, kind of thing. So, so it's good. It's going zero to uh, 1023. 1023. Zero, if you can see if I'm looking here, okay? So that was important. Now, here's the thing. Again, I said I thought I had to have five volts. Blue is ground. So when I plug it into five volts, this is, you know, troubleshooting kind of thing. So I'm switching it over to the five volt pins. Plug the right one in the right one. Blue is ground. Blue is ground. All right. Cool. So I switch it over to the five volt pin, and 800 is my zeros. Is my you know middle point. Well, well, that, that's not right. First of all. All right. So then if I go to the right a little bit, I I, I don't get to zero. If I go to the left. I get to zero. Okay, so the right should be 1023. Well, I, did you see that 10 pop up? 1023. I'm barely moving this to the right, and that's where it pops 1023. And then 770 at the far right, which is not right. I mean, it says it's supposed to be 5 volts. So there's something with this 5 volts that it's not like it. Like, the zero's okay, but, again, you see I had a nine, so I could get to 10, there's 1023, but I barely moved it, and then if I, you know, post it, put it all the way edge, it's seven, seven. So troubleshooting idea was, well, let's just plug it into three volts and see what happens there. And amazingly enough, that's why I'm running it on three volts. Lo and behold, I get 500, I get 1023, I get 0, I get 0, I get 1023. So I don't know why it uh, didn't like that on 5 volts. So there is using a thumbstick to get four inputs. What I mean by four inputs, oh, let me take you to the code that I was using. Um, so 
I've got an LCD hooked up, so again, I have to go to extensions. I have to find an LCD. Google 1602, or not Google, search 1602 or LCD. You come up with these. I've been using the MakerBit one. So under MakerBit here, there's LCD. I have to connect, and I need to use the show. So I connect. L LED enable false is because um, the, the, the 5x5 LED uses some pins. So I just want to make sure that wasn't conflicting with anything. So I turned, turned it off. Um, and then I need some variables to send the data, send the, the numbers into. It works easier with variables. I mean, I could have just used that um, that box. I didn't you know, in here instead of exposition. I could do that, but it's nice to use variables to call things things. Um, so I go to variables and you make a variable. And I just made a variable called expo, expose and um, my pose, and it creates these things. And then you use the set to something, right? Set to zero kind of thing. Um, but you know we're not going to set it to zero. We want to set it to that value. Well, I have to go down to pins. So you scroll down here to pins, and you find analog. Um, these are analog because it goes zero to ten, twenty-three. That that extra pin, the extra the push button thing, I we I mentioned earlier, that's a digital pin because it's zero or one, it's on or off. Um, these are analogs because they go from zero to one twenty three. You know, so you grab that, you drop that in on the zero here there in the box, and boom, and then you tell it what pin you want to set it to. And then I just displayed things, um, and that's the LCD again. LCD show. Um, where do you want to show? You know, I put some words in here, and I also put the variable in here. Again, that variable. It's got two things. It's right there's you know where I can use it, and there's the set. Um, position. Well, this is what a 1602 LCD looks like. It's got 16 characters and two lines. And I just said, you know, do this, you know, write this word at position one, have it be five long. Um, put the put the value from the variable at position seven. Um, and it's going to be four long. Write this at position 17, it's going to be five long. I just gave it some space. Um, and put the value for the variable at position 22. So that's how that worked. Now I'm going to use the four inputs to do something. Or next, I'm going to do that. Okay, talk soon.